King Charles and Prince William's petty jealousy towards Prince Harry continues. My family, please kindly hear what has now happened. My family. Prince William is set to take over command of Prince Harry's old army unit after what they're calling a reshuffle of the royal family's military appointments by King Charles. And my family, they just had to mention that what William has been given is command of a Harry's old army unit. My family, you know, what have I always been saying about Prince William? Prince William has always been jealous of Harry. He is the problem. And I have been saying this for a very, very long time. He is the problem. He has always been jealous of Harry and continues to be jealous of Harry, even though Harry has been living in the U.S. for more than three years now. And no wonder, just a few days ago, we heard about that fake poll claiming that William is so, so popular in the U.S. And my family, as I said yesterday, how can you ever heal or mend a rift with someone who after three years still is so jealous of you, wants you to know that he can take away anything that belonged to you because he is the heir to the throne. Now my family, I remember something that happened after King Charles evicted Harry and Meghan from their only UK home, from a cottage. My family, when that happened, there was so much backlash towards Charles. Charles was getting some negative press. You know, tabloids were like, oh, look, this is a strong move from Charles towards Harry. That's how they were calling it. But in the eyes of the global world, it was negative towards Charles. People were seeing him for exactly who he is. A failed father. A failed husband to Vile Dana and now also a failed father to Prince Harry. That's just who Charles is and has always been. He's a failure at everything. And my family, because of that backlash that Charles was receiving, something happened. The palace leaked that Charles did what he did because William wanted to have a fifth home. Because William had made an inquiry about the availability of Frogmo Cottage. And Charles did what he did to please his eldest son, William. That's what we were told. After King Charles was not happy, with the global backlash after he evicted Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet from their only UK home. Because Harry only told the truth in his memoir spare about what Charles and William put Meghan through, what they put Harry through himself, of how they paid Harry to the UK tablet press for Charles to get some good press. Harry told us that. And Charles was upset. And so he ordered Harry and Meghan to get out of Fromo Cottage. And now they have. But my family, when Charles leaked, that is because William wanted a fifth home, he gave you a perspective of exactly just how bad William truly is. Is that he wants Harry to know Whatever good thing is ever had that he can take, he can take it from Harry because he is the heir. My family, why else would someone who has four homes 
want the only place that Harry and Meghan have in the UK from a cottage. That is a residence of where they were staying. They turned, they turned a place that looked more like a servant's quarters into an amazing home. That's what Harry and Meghan did. And William wanted that place. He wanted it also because he wanted to send a message to Harry. Whatever he has, he can take. And clearly, what's happening right now is exactly, you know, a message also from William to Harry. Whatever Harry had, he can take. You know, William only abandoned the move to take from a cottage. After he was told by his ADs that it will look bad on you. But now with this appointment to the military, he's like, I can take that. I'm the heir. I can take that. And that's what he has done. My family, the problem has always been Prince William. Always. It's always been him. And he continues to be jealous towards Harry. You know, just yesterday, there was this carnival of so-called expert who was saying that, you know, there needs to be some kind of intermediary between Harry and William to heal this rift. My family, first of all, the problem here is not Harry. The problem is William. The guy hates Harry. And he leaks every week how much he hates Harry. That's what William does, my family. Because for a long time, he has always been jealous of his young brother, Harry. For a very long time. And clearly, it hasn't changed. He continues to be jealous, angry, mad at Prince Harry. That's how William basically is. And my family, as I've always said, William wants to destroy his brother Harry. You know, and I'll always say that because it's the truth. William wants to destroy Harry. That's what he wants. He wants to do to Harry what was done to the late Princess Margaret. She was attacked, forced to give up the man she loved, bullied, abused. My family, Harry says in his memoir that Margaret could not walk because she had burned her feet. That was her life, a life of misery. And my family, years ago, before even her suffering, my family, she was way more famous than the queen. But look at what happened over the years. The queen became way more famous while her sister suffered until the day she died. That's exactly what William wants for Harry. For him to be loved globally while Harry suffers at the expense of Harry. And he still wants that to happen. The tabloids still want that to happen. And that's why every single day, even today, my family, even today, today, I saw one other clip of, once again, GB propaganda dreaming about Harry abandoning his wife and kids and coming back to, to Britain, my family, coming back to the UK to return to the royal fold. They keep hoping that that happens every day. And then they're like, on TV, they're like, you know, of course, we don't want to, you know, ruin this marriage, my family, but they do. They do. They do. They do. Let nobody ever tell you otherwise. They do. And that's why they keep attacking and attacking Prince Harry and Meghan on a daily basis. People they call irrelevant. People they say are unpopular. And my family, if they say that William is so popular, in the US, why aren't they talking about someone who is popular? Because my family, if you speak about someone who you say is popular, you expect to get clicks. 
views, high ratings, because the guy is popular. People want to see him. For my family, the tabloids, the media, don't talk about William unless they're trashing Harry. My family, they can't mention William without mentioning Harry's name. I mean, just hear this. William is given command of Harry's old army unit. That in itself is the perfect example of how the media can't even prop up William. The palace can't prop up William without undermining Prince Harry. As I've always said, as I've always said, and yet they claim that William is the one who's so, so popular. Utter hypocrisy. Utter hypocrisy. In my family, even yesterday, I said this. How do you reconcile with someone whose entire life has been dedicated to taking Harry down to protect himself? How? As I've always said, no wonder tabloids think Harry will return. Because for a long time, he was programmed to accept being a scapegoat. To be controlled, to be miserable, so William can look good, like what happened to Princess Margaret. They never say Meghan might return. Not just because they don't want her back, but also because they know after all the abuse they have put Megan through. No person in their right mind would ever return. And they know Megan is smart. They know that. They know that. It's Harry who they don't think is smart. My family. No wonder Harry, in his witness statement in court, said that tabloids have spread this propaganda that he is a pickle. In Harry's own words, in his witness statement, in his court case, versus the mirror. My family, only someone who is not intelligent would ever return after putting up with everything, every abuse, every bullying, every insult, every, every negative headline that Harry has had to go through. My family, for a very, very long time, Harry has been fed by the royal family, by the palace to protect William for a very long time. And they want to continue doing that. They want Harry miserable to prop up William. My family, Harry will not come back. Harry is a smart and intelligent person. My family, as we now know, palace staff would give the press a negative story about Harry to kill a negative story about Prince William. My family, and for a long time, that is how it's always been. And my family, when you do that to a person who you call a brother, you no longer see him as a human being, but as a tool that you can use whenever and wherever you, you want. And that's how William has always seen Harry and continues to see Harry. For my family, Harry is not William's too. And it's high time that William understands that. He must stop using Harry as a scapegoat. You know, William, as I've always said, William, you can take away any material thing in the royal family from a cottage. You can take that away. You can take away these military appointments. You can take that away. Yes, you can do that. You have the power to do that. You can get Harry to lose his security. You have the power to do that. And you have done that. You have that power. No one denies it. No one can say no to that. You have the power. William, you can leak negative stories as you have been doing against Harry for a long time, as you have done. You have the power. And that's what you have done. William, you can tell Charles to cut Harry off, and he will. You have that power. You have that ability. You have that, William. 
very soon you'll be the future king. If the monarchy survives. But what you can never ever take away is what Harry and Meghan have for each other. True love, which you are trying constantly to destroy because you want your scapegoat back. William, I pray you never ever succeed in your evil plot to destroy Harry and Meghan, to destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage. You and your tabloid minion friends. I hope you never ever succeed in doing what you intend on doing. Destroy Harry's life. And my family, James O'Brien had something to say about all this that's happening right now. And my family, I want you to hear what basically James O'Brien said about exactly what has been happening with now Harry you know, basically years ago, they stripped him of his military appointments years ago. And even today, apparently, they're like, William can take over command. He's taking over command over Harry's old army unit. Even to this day, more than three years later, they have not stopped trying to humiliate and embarrass Prince Harry. More than three years later. They haven't stopped. And my family, I want you to hear exactly what was said at LBC's James O'Brien's show. That's what I want you to be able to hear because I find the words that they said there completely important. My family, that's what I basically believe 100 percent please kindly hear what a veteran who served with harry said my family it's a completely different royal family should reinstate prince harry's military honors and they should um honor and respect whatever whatever path they choose to take and now the qualification that i give behind my reasoning is that i'm a veteran mm. and as prince harry was i served in afghanistan on the ground uh, did two tours just the same as prince harry and actually one of the tours that he was on um overlap with one of mine really now any yeah anyone that anyone that served will tell you that the iraq and afghan conflict from your political view it was horrendous yes. um the you know the toll on your mental health, the toll on those who didn't come back, the families, you know, life and limb. Now, Prince Harry, let's not forget, he did two He did two of those tours. So I believe he's paid his kind of, his debt to his country. And if you look all throughout history, um, the physical security of a nation and its citizens have been guaranteed by young men and women who have been willing to go put their lives at risk and pay the ultimate price, which he has done. So My family, I... let me just pause there kindly. Let me just pause there kindly. The veteran who served with Harry said that the physical safety of a nation, its citizens, has been guaranteed because of soldiers who've gone out to serve in active military, you know, duty in Afghanistan or Iraq to fight to protect the country and that is what Harry did when he served two tours in Afghanistan my family that's what Harry did he served he served his country when my family Harry fell in love with the one of color and he saw his wife being poorly mistreated, bullied, abused, and he protected her. Took his wife from a toxic environment, far away from a toxic environment. How did his country treat him? My family, appallingly. Harry was treated appallingly. By tabloids and the farm. All because he dared to do what a man should do. Protect his wife and son. Because that's all Harry did. Protect his wife and son. And that's what he continues to do. 
And because he dared to protect the mother of his son and his son, who were being abused by the Tory media, who tablets were in fighting hate against on a daily basis, as Megan even was bullied throughout her pregnancy, and even after she gave birth, she was being bullied. My family, throughout all of that time, the royal family never did a thing to condemn the abuse or racism towards Megan, even though they knew of the huge mental toll it had on Megan. Megan wanted to take her own life. And to try and save herself, Megan wanted to check into a mental institution. But what did the royal family say? They said, he looks bad on us. If you check into a mental institution, the people who are supposed to protect Megan from tabloids, from bigoted, racist tabloids, that's what they said to Megan. They were looking after themselves. However, they hated that Harry and Megan are looking after themselves, looking after their own peace of mind, protecting their mental health. Because that's what Harry and Megan have done. Protect their mental health. And because of that, my family, Harry and Megan were stripped of their security to try and scare them into returning to abuse. Scare Prince Harry, actually, because it's Harry who they wanted back. Scare Harry into coming back alone into the raw fold. My family, it did not work. Tyler Perry came to Harry and Meghan's aid. Harry, Meghan, and Archie's aid. And gave them security. That's what Tyler Perry did. And we thank God for Tyler Perry. What he did to protect Harry, Meghan, and their son, Archie. Tyler Perry did more for Harry than Charles, who was supposed to be a father, could do for his own son. You know? And no wonder, really, he is the godfather of Lilibet Diana. No wonder. And my family, it's also disgraceful, disgraceful, my family, that after what Harry has done to serve his country, when time came for his country to also show him respect, they poorly treated Harry. You know, maybe it's just the tabloids and the farm. Because Harry himself said that, you know, he's thankful for the public in Britain. What he can't stand are tabloids. That's what he can't really stand. And they're trolls. You know, maybe that's the word that I should use. My family, after what Harry did, the tablets called for him to lose his security. Oh, because he protected his wife, the mother of his son, from the bigotry and racism of the UK tablet press. My family, Harry is a real man. And we are so proud of what he has done. Protect his family like what a man should do. Keep his family safe. And my family, thank you so much, this veteran who is speaking the truth. Harry should never ever have lost his security. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. But I'm glad, despite what was done to Harry and Meghan, they said they are not coming back. They are moving on, moving forward. And that's what they did. And now they've made so much good money. I'm happy about that so much, my family. My family, please can you also look at this, please. Which he has done. So before anything else, I do urge people to Just, never forget that and to remember. Do, that. Are you surprised by how easily and how quickly that has been overlooked? Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I, Thanks to you, you are flipping reading. Okay. You're absolutely on it. I lost my, my so another similarity I have with Prince Harry is that I lost my mum at a young age. So I understand. Yeah what it feels like and the statements that um they're kind of blaming this on prince harry not taking it well yeah. uh not taking his mother's loss i think that's a real slap in the face to a man who 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 served on the ground you know he was a platoon commander he led he led men in action on men and women so on his first tour and then on his second tour it was an apache pilot yeah. so the thought that everyone
won't blame me, Megan, and you, you know, saying that a man who has done such incredible things under the intense kind of the intensity of combat cannot make up make his own decisions is ludicrous. Can, can, um, I, can I ask my family, you a question? And if you know, if it's you... part of the ongoing misogyny. It is part of the misogyny of the UK tablet press. To blame Megan for her decision of protecting Megan and his son. You know, they coined they coined this term called Megxit of Megan fleeing the UK to describe she and Harry's move outside of Britain. They blame everything on Megan, but never on their on their abuse towards Megan. You know, in fact, yesterday I was discussing something with you know the presenter of Brion Squad is and my family. I told her that you know what tabloids they never ever blame their abuse of Megan on Harry and Megan fleeing the UK. They never ever blame that. You never ever hear them say it's because of our abuse, insult, or racism that Harry and Meghan fled Britain. You never ever hear them speaking about what Harry said about the racism that Meghan endured at the hands of tabloids. Harry has said everything in his memoir, but you won't see them having segments to discuss point by point racist article after racist article that Harry wrote in his memoir of what was said about Megan. You won't see them discussing that because it does not fit their narrative. My family. Because they had spread this lie that Harry and Megan left UK because they wanted privacy. They never ever say that Harry and Megan played Britain because of their abuse. Never. Never. They never ever mentioned that my family. I don't think you'll ever ever see that. They call abuse constructive criticism. They call abuse intense media scrutiny. That's what they call abuse. Abuse is not criticism. My family, let's get that very clear. Harry and Meghan were abused. Not criticized. They were abused. And that's why they fled Britain. You know, normally, that is overlooked. Even it's not even mentioned even. Harry and Meghan fled Britain. Mostly because of the UK W press and the abuse of Meghan throughout her pregnancy. No mercy, no sympathy, no nothing. And then they blame Meghan for leaving. Meghan for Harry leaving, actually. That's what happened. And my family, yet Harry said, it was my choice. Megan never ever said that she wanted to leave. Never. Never. It was my choice. I made the decision to protect my family, my wife and son. But tabloids blaming on Megan because of their misogyny. Because of their misogyny, my family. And they like to claim that, you know, as you have heard yourself, that they like to blame her decisions on Megan, writing his memoir spear, going on Oprah. My family having an interview with Oprah on Megan. That's what they like to do, time and time again. And yet, my family, the main reason Harry did what he did, memoir spear, is because for a long time he has been poorly treated. He has been abused for a long time. As Stella Perry said. Harry and Meghan were abused. They both were. Harry and Meghan were abused. They both, they both were. As Stella Perry said. And that's very, very true. They both were abused. And my family, Harry and Meghan, made the right decision to flee from Britain. Now, you see tabloid media wanting Harry back by force. Trying to get him deported. To force Harry back inside the gilded cage. To perform for them. To be miserable. So they can line their pockets. My family, this time, they won't do to Harry what they did to Princess Margaret. 
they won't. They won't. They will not. They will not. You know, my family ruining Harry's marriage to Meghan is one step to destroying Prince Harry himself. That's how tabloids see things. Ruining his marriage to Meghan is one step of destroying Prince Harry. And they want to accomplish that part. And they don't stop. They don't stop my family. And that's why it's important to pray. Pray every single day that the evil plots don't succeed. Pray every single day, my family. For Harry and Meghan, before you go to bed, pray. That the evil plots of the media never ever succeed. My family, something must be done about the misogyny and racism in the UK tabloid press. People in Britain must demand reforms in the media landscape in Britain, my family. Please kindly continue hearing this what was said on James O'Brien's show kindly by this amazing veteran. The intensity of combat cannot make up make his own decisions is ludicrous. Can can um, I can I ask you a tricky question? And if you if you if you don't have an answer to it, then don't be embarrassed to say so. Um how because I think a lot of us with no military service, which is of course almost all of us, and then when you expand that to include people who didn't do a tour in Afghanistan or, or Iraq, it, it's a, it's almost everybody. How insulated was he by dint of his status from some of the dangers and realities that you, for example, would have been exposed to? I can't. I no, can't. I can't. Fair play. I, to be honest, I can't. I can't speak. Or I can't really. I can't give you an accurate, an accurate answer because I didn't. You know, it was. It was. Just, a very well kept his safety was, was guaranteed but he was not insulated i don't believe he was insulated well i mean um, an, an ied back. or a missile attack upon a Would military it? base in afghanistan he's, he's not going to be able to work out who's who's a member of the royal family and who isn't is it <laughs> absolutely so uh in, in my in my view i'd say no he wasn't shielded he was on the ground patrolling yeah. it was just that the only shielding he had that was that the press weren't able to let anyone know otherwise obviously he would be a massive target now on the second tour that he did, just let me pause you there because obviously he would be a massive target and that just puts a completely different complexion on their complaints about not being afforded royal protection on Sydney Street, so, doesn't it? Oh, just, why would he be more of a target in a theatre of war than he would be else? My family, you know, very, very true, 100% very, very true. Because the press did not know where Harry was located. So Harry was well, he's a safe. For the same reason. Harry was safe because the press did not know where Harry was. Because if they had known, my family, they would have told the world where Harry was. My family, they would have told, you know, everyone where Harry was, and that could have posed a huge safety risk. Buhari and his other, you know, fellow soldiers. And my family, the press, the tabloid media, you know, and I say this with great, great sadness, my family. I say this with great sadness because a media should never, ever, you know, the press should not make you feel unsafe. It should protect democracy. The press should not bully someone to the point that they take their own lives. But sadly, that's what we've seen happening in the UK to Colin Flack. Megan almost, almost took her life. Diana was chased to her death all because of the UK tabloid press. My family, it's devoid of morals, scruples. Basically, they have blood on their hands. As Harry said in his witness statement, the press, you know, they have blood on their hands. And my family, Harry asked even in court, you know, how long can basically blood spill because of their typing, you know, fingers, because of their rhetoric? How long until someone puts a stop to all of this? Because something needs to be done. Lives have been lost. My family, lives have been lost. And that's why I say what they have in the UK is not a press. It is not a press. It's not a media outlet, my family. They are not the press. They are criminals masquerading as journalists. 
they are criminals masquerading as journalists. And it's high time the public in Britain demand changes my family. And the press has always been a threat, has always posed a huge threat to people's lives, the press in Britain, the tabloid media in Britain, to Harry, to Meghan, to Archie, to Lilibet, to Doria, they pose a huge threat. And that threat is very, very real. And Wanda Harry is in court, trying to fight for his family, for his wife, for his kids, to protect them, as he always has done and continues to do. My family, something must be done about the UK to repress my family. They can't continue to go on as they are my family. Something must be done. So my family, you know, to wrap this all up, now William can have all this, you know, power, this take command over Harry's old arm unit. He can take that. But my family, it reflects badly on Prince William. It just shows us who William has always been, coveting, coveting everything that Harry has. You know, my family, I won't even be surprised if William also coveted Meghan. I will, I will not be surprised, my family. I will not be surprised because he's always wanted anything good Harry has, he wants it for himself. The Ian Victor's games, he wanted that for himself. Everything that Harry has, he wants for himself. That's how William is, my family. And with someone like that, there can be no reconciliation. The only thing that there should be is distance and space. My family, distance and space. And I pray that no matter what William does, he never ever succeeds in destroying Prince Harry. Or, or Meghan, my family. Prince Harry and Meghan. And their kids. My family, I pray that William never succeeds in destroying Harry and Meghan. Because that's what he wants. My family, now tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. You know, and all this is happening when Harry is right now in Singapore. All this is happening when Harry is currently engaged in an international tour. Is it a coincidence, my family? No, it is not. No, it is not. The royal family does this on purpose to continue the cycle of negative press towards Harry. And it is despicable. To continue wanting Harry and Meghan to be viewed as the villains, that's why they do what they do. For my family, it only reflects badly on the royal family, on William, on Charles, on Kate Camilla, but not on Harry and Meghan. My family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you all the forever. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lipetana and Dory Ragland and all of you know the squad at home. Hey never wins, love wins and stay tuned to our next video. May no weapon formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipetana and Dory Ragland ever prosper. My family, stay tuned to this video. Love you always and forever. The whole family want to humiliate Harry. But my family, they've thrown so much at him that they can't humiliate him anymore. They can't. They're angry they, they can't control him. Well, guess what? They'll never ever control Harry ever again. Or Megan. Or their children, Archie Lilibet. Never again. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustice, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, 
and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.